Should this fire pit be here? Well, this question got a bunch of you pretty upset. <laughs> I didn't intend uh, to have uh, like, I don't know, ongoing battles in my comment section over this situation, but whatever. So here's the answer. It's in the subalpine right at tree line. So generally speaking, we don't want to have fires in a spot like that. Some people have brought up the idea that maybe it was a wilderness survival situation. Um, it wasn't. You can tell. It's a fire ring that's essentially full to the top with ashes, which makes that really unlikely. Obviously, if in a wilderness survival situation, a fire would be okay. When we're at the interface between tree line and uh, the alpine, we need to recognize that uh, the trees and the grasses and everything else have limited growing time. That area is under 15 feet of snow or more uh, most of the time throughout the winter. Um, and so the best practice is to use camp stoves when you're in these subalpine or alpine environments. Um, additionally, it is late summer in uh, at the time that this video was made, and uh, there are many fire restrictions. So we want to recognize that, uh, that forest fires are a real hazard too. The fifth principle of leave no trace is to minimize campfire impacts. So another thought is like, if people really, 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 really wanted a fire here, uh, and it was in a time where there was no fire bans, uh, I mean, it's not the best practice, but uh, to have a fire at this altitude, but uh, at the very least, they could have uh, cleaned it up, scattered the ashes, removed the rocks, things like that. Um, but the best practice when you're at this elevation is not to have a fire. And uh, some guy called people soft who uh, said that they uh, uh, said that they didn't want fires. I think it's kind of soft if you need a fire uh, to go backpacking. So uh, let's minimize campfire impacts.